What's up YouTube? I'm Jacob Gribben and today I'm in Le Havre, France and I'm going to be taking you to 5 to 10 can't miss spots and activities. Please bear with me if I butcher all these names. Thanks. All right, the first spot, as you can see in the background, is called Le Volcan, which looks like a volcano. That's a performing arts center. Fortunately, it's temporary closed, but look at that architecture. I've never seen a volcano building before. Designed by Oscar Niemeyer. Pretty cool design, nice color, beautiful architecture. All right, the second stop on the can't miss places and activities is the Bibliothèque by Oscar Niemeyer. Uh, it's right next to the Le Volcan. Also a cool design, kind of looks like a pimple. Both these buildings are conveniently located in the city center and it takes a quick three minute walk to look at them, enjoy them, see what's up. Here we go, the Bibliothèque and then Le Volcan. Another angle. This is a cool angle with the sun and the bibliothèque. My first French dog that I meet. Hello. Come here. Oh. Oh, pee. Hello. All right, the third stop is the Le Havre Cathedral, which is a 16th century stone cathedral and one of the few buildings to remain from World War II. Quite epic. The architecture is beautiful. All right, fourth stop is the Catina Containers, which really stands out in the city. You can see it from the, from the cruise ship and it's very colorful. It really stands out. Beautiful open area to walk your dogs. Really cool spot. Original piece, I really can't say I've seen anything like that. I'm gonna go walk under it because it's pretty cool. Pretty cool, made by Vincent Genivet. Genvet, I don't know. Wow, it's pretty cool. And there's an echo under here. Okay, 360 view. All right, now we're at our fifth location, which is one of the most popular spots in they have, is the Museum of Modern Art by Andre Louv Malraux. According to Google, it's a modern glass walled gallery home to five centuries of art and extensive impressionist collection. Over 3,000 reviews on Google and 4.5 stars. It is one of the most popular places here. Go from the front, very cool, catches your attention, kind of looks like a seashell. Great place to stop, take a quick look around at the art, history of the town. I would recommend, $7, not too bad. Right, now we're at our six can't miss location, which is La Havre Beach. La Havre, La Havre Beach. A bunch of things going on here. It has over 8,000 reviews on Google and arguably their most popular destination for tourists. Getting a quick snack. They didn't speak English, so I used my we Nutella. Some point. Oh yeah, quick pit stop waffle with Nutella, four euros. Something so basic tastes so good. Nutella and a waffle. It's light, crispy. Mmm.
All right, now we're on our way to the seventh stop, the Hanging Gardens, which is quite an uphill climb. As you can see the beach way down there in the past 10 minutes, we used this lime scooter to climb this hill. About a 15 minute ride. All right, we made it to Les Jardins Suspendus. I butchered it, but it's okay. I butchered it. We're at the top of the hill on Le, Le Havre. It's beautiful up here. It's very quiet. I'm excited to see what's in the park. Here's the entrance as you walk in. Lots to explore. It's very quiet up here. It's peaceful, high up on the mountain, no tourists really. Just gonna take a quick rest in this grassy patch, get some energy, then hopefully find somewhere to eat and hang out. Final thoughts on Le Havre, Le Havre, Le Havre. Cool city, fun to walk around, lots of cool architecture. I like the waffle, the waffle is really good. Beach looks fun, I wanna jump in later. I probably will. And there's a lot to explore here. There's a lot to explore. Hopefully you can come back and check it out more. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Please don't talk about